Hey, what is up guys? Casual here and welcome to another video. So patch 43 just dropped and I got a lot of stuff to show you guys. From handcuffs to a new gun flashlight, it's pretty crazy. And also possible attachments come in as well. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So uh, some of the stuff which I can't actually show because they're not physical, uh, I'll talk about a bit before we start, is um, they've got a fix for crashing on startup. So that should be fixed now for anyone who's crashing on startup. They fixed the main cause of the invisible player issue. So that annoying bug where the player becomes invisible and kills you should stop happening now, hopefully, because uh, that was pretty game breaking. They've added dead dedicated police item spawn location so police items will only spawn in certain areas such as the police station now so uh, in the police station there's a lot more pistols and a lot more police gear and stuff like that okay so they've made it so uh, crafted baseball bats now spawn in the world because uh, they couldn't actually be crafted and uh, this is until they can be crafted again so uh, here you go right here I find a saw blade one I believe so that's pretty cool that you can find them around now they're pretty powerful I believe they take up mutants in like three hits or something so uh, they're pretty cool to find they've also uh, added a new system called aim stabilization so like that and uh, what it does is it decreases weapon jitter while moving so uh, as you can see here's a few clips of me moving around here you can see the wasteland and uh, as you can see it's a lot more cleaner now it doesn't jitter around so much it's a lot more fixed on the screen I actually like it a lot more it's easier to aim it just looks a whole lot better but uh, if you want to check out a comparison video of before and after there will be a link in the description down below it's made by the official miscreated team so uh, check that out but uh, I just want to talk about something which Terry the uh, lead developer posted on reddit he actually confirmed that prone will be coming uh it's not in this patch unfortunately but it will be coming in one of the later patches as you can see he also talks about he wants to add a new system for it to allow players to be able to board up windows and uh put doors on houses and stuff like that and they also want to add vehicle attachments which will obviously be like vehicle customization like uh adding a snow plow on the front or putting you know uh boarded up windows and stuff like that so that'll be pretty cool okay so now we talked about all the basic stuff we're gonna get into uh most of the cool stuff which just came in in the update so the first thing we got is the craftable flashlight attachment that will fit on some rifles such as the m16 uh, also the shotgun they don't mention that but it does fit on the shotgun i believe it fits on the uh stanag rifle as well and uh, possibly the mk18 i'm not too sure but uh, all you have to do to uh craft it is uh you need duct tape and a mega light and then you just go in crafting you go to weapons and attachments and you can craft it from in there and then uh from then on you all you have to do is drag it onto your gun and uh, right click on it and click turn on and that should toggle the flashlight so uh, that's pretty cool it's pretty cool for uh going through dark buildings and especially on nighttime server it's going to be a lot more useful as well especially with pvp but yeah it's uh, definitely a crazy implementation to the game so next we got the ability for rope to be able to bind players uh, unfortunately it was broken so i couldn't actually show it all i could do was hold it in my hands but uh you can craft rope with four rags you can find it so uh it's pretty easy to actually tie up civilians now and uh, obviously rob people and stuff like that but unfortunately like i said it's broken the rope doesn't stack anymore which is unfortunate as well because uh it takes up a lot more slots in your inventory when you've got a lot more pieces of rope but obviously you know that's a good sacrifice because rope is now uses like a bandit sort of tool but yeah just to uh re-go over it again rope can now be used to bind players okay so something i wanted to talk about which wasn't actually mentioned in the patch notes is the fact that the shotgun the m16 uh the hunting rifle and the carnitin they all have extra slots now i know the flashlight got added so obviously that would put extra slots in but they got even more slots which definitely definitely suggest attachments are coming especially on the hunting rifle and the carlington because they actually had an extra one slot which suggests the scope because the flashlight won't actually go on them and uh, same with the m16 it had an extra slot as well as the flashlight slot i believe it had an extra two slots and the shotgun had three slots i believe which was the mag uh, the flashlight and obviously something else maybe a sight uh grip you never know but yeah that's pretty cool that definitely screams attachments okay so next on the list we have handcuffs have been added to the game and you could use these to bind players just like rope but in fact these ones actually do work so uh, there's not really any need to explain this you need a key to untie players uh, they're obviously a lot harder to break out of they spawn with the keys and uh, you need the key to be in your vest your pants your shirt or uh, your hoodie for it to actually be able to unlock the player I made the mistake of having it in my backpack and it said I didn't have any keys on me so uh, make sure you don't make that same mistake you can actually reuse it once you unbind the player which is pretty cool but yeah they're a lot better for tying people up because it's harder to break out of and their friends can't break them out of it as well but yeah as i said before they spawn with their keys so keep that in mind it's not that hard to find them they are pretty rare but uh due to the fact that they spawn with the keys it is a lot better and uh, that's just going to increase the banditry in the game a lot and also the police role play as well all right so the next thing is they've changed the icon of the ak ammo as you can see they did say mag in the patch notes but apparently it's not the mag it's just the ammo as you can see right here it doesn't look the same as the uh, original uh, icon which they used when they first put it in that's pretty cool now now you can differentiate between the uh, ak ammo 
ammo and the sniper ammo. Okay, so the next thing is tweaks to the military base. So this is a pretty big one. The, literally the whole of the middle of the airfield has changed. There's a lot more barricades up, a lot more sandbags, stuff like that. The white houses have been adjusted. Every house is now enterable. So uh, every apartment in the uh, center of the airfield, you can enter now. They're no longer boarded up. The container yard with the generator, which where the generator used to originally be, has been expanded now. So uh, they've got rid of that road that runs between the office building and the far tents from uh, the entrance. They've also made it so the White House is no longer a T section, it's just an L section. They've literally ditched that whole road and they just put barricades there. I believe it's on the right side when you're coming up from the uh, stem of the T. They've moved the generator to the office buildings now. So uh, keep that in mind if you're looking for it. It's still there, but it is at the office buildings. They've also edited the airstrip. So it's got a lot nicer texture on it. It looks a lot more concrete. They've added helicopter landings, as you can see, which in my opinion is absolutely amazing. I literally almost started crying when I saw this. It was so cool. And uh, by the two big hangars, there's also a helicopter crash, which is uh, also a pretty cool addition to the game, as you can see right here. It's actually made a massive dent in the airstrip. But yeah, that's all that's changed for the airfield. So last but not least, we have the new large office block interior in Haywood Valley. So this is pretty crazy. It actually reminded me of something from The Last of Us. It looks so cool inside. There is an elevator in there, but unfortunately it didn't work as of now. But it is absolutely massive. But I'm just going to let you guys have a little bit of a look around and then I'll cut back in once we're done. Okay, so now you guys have seen the office building. Now I want to show you something absolutely crazy. If you go higher than the third floor, there's a secret little way. I believe it's through the back passages. You can actually get to a massive plane crash, which is hanging out the side of the building. And it is absolutely insane. You can go inside the plane. You can literally see the whole of Hayward from up in it. It's literally hanging out the edge of the building. It is the craziest thing ever. So I would expect to see a lot of snipers up there, especially because you can see literally over the whole of Hayward. It's crazy. You could also see over that roof, which you can get on as well. So it's it's pretty cool for clearing out people on there but it's literally the coolest thing i've ever seen if you go outside you can also see it as well it is so good i absolutely love what they did with this it's really giving off some last of us vibes right here Thank you. 
But yeah, in this patch notes video, I didn't actually miss anything, hopefully. I tried to get as much as I could, I literally played for hours and hours. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the megaphone for you guys because there was a glitch which stopped it from spawning and uh, that should be fixed in the next hotfix. But uh, I didn't get any footage of that, unfortunately. But obviously, it's just a megaphone, all it's going to do is increase your VOIP, make it a little louder. And it will probably commonly be found in a police station. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys are a little bit wiser on that miscreated knowledge. And uh, I will see you guys in another video. Peace.